Hi guys, it's Drea and I am back with another video. How are you all doing today? We are doing pretty good. I know you guys are wondering what did I do because of my title. So I did something that I always wanted to do but never had the time to do it because I was always working and um, I was just always busy. But I finally did it. So as you all know, um, with this school year coming up, there are still some concerns, you know, with this whole COVID situation. And because of a lot of the schools that are opening, um, there are not a lot of remote options now. So the thing that I finally decided to do was to homeschool my children. So I withdraw my children from school and they are officially homeschoolers. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I know the last two videos I did, the kids did their uh, school supply haul. And last week I did decide that, or I still had in mind that they were gonna go back to you know in-person school, but they also still have some concerns because they didn't go to school the whole entire year last year. So, you know, I thought about it and I just decided, well, we could just give it a try. And if things don't work out, then they could always go back. But my goal is to homeschool them this whole entire year. So I didn't want you guys to be confused when you start seeing videos of them being at home and um, versus them coming back from school telling me how their day was or, you know, what did they learn because they obviously are going to be here. So our content is going to be a little bit different now. Um, and I hope that if other families out there decided to homeschool their children too, um, you know, we can reach out to each other and we can give each other ideas and, you know, just help support um, everyone all together. All right, well, I am going to start showing you guys how I've been preparing. So we're going to get right into it. The next day
Okay, so here are TJ Fractions cut out, and I'm thinking about just doing a fun game for him, just um, putting, putting some Velcro in the back of it, and then just letting him um, make his own uh, parts, like fraction parts or whole numbers. And then for Taylor, here is one of her charts. So uh, this is basically, I guess you can say fractions for her just breaking down um, whole numbers. So I put four beers here and then she would have to make the number four. So obviously she will put two on this side or two on this side. And if she knows um, a number, like if I took this off and wrote a number 10 here, she can put five beers. She would know to put five beers here and five beers here. And if she don't need the beers, then she could just write the number five on both sides um, if she wants to. But this just makes it a little bit more fun for her. And then this is our 10 frame chart. And don't mind my coffee stains, guys. I have to wash this. Um, I'm at my desk. <laughs> so um, this is her 10 frame chart and as you can see she has two different colored gems so she can write the numbers 4 plus 6 equals 10 on her paper and then we also have cubes as well if she don't want to use the gems we have these cubes and she can put 9 plus 1 equals 10 or it don't always have to be 10. We could change it, you know, 8 plus 0 equals 8, you know. So that's just an idea of how we're going to use these charts for my second grader. And once I figure out what I'm going to do with this, I will let you guys know. Again, TJ is going into the fifth grade.